I'm Woody Marshall. And I'm Yanni Kranz. And we're going to show you how instruments work. Why can't I play this? Oh my gosh, Yanni. You can't vibrate your lips at the right natural frequency to make that instrument resonate. Here you go. No problem, Yanni. Such a beautiful note. Why is it that when you slide the trombone slide out, the pitch of the note becomes lower, Woody? Because as the length of the slide increases, you have a longer amount of distance that the wave can travel through. When you have this longer wavelength, you can have a lower frequency. Now here, we have the grand piano. The piano is a little different. This could actually even be considered as a string instrument. The way you create notes on a piano is by pressing down on the keys, of course. On the right side, the higher notes. On the left side, the lower notes. Now let's actually see how music is made in a piano. As you can see, inside a piano, there are the hammers all aligned across all the way down. One hammer per note. And also, there are strings. The strings are what make the music. The smaller the string, the higher the note. So as you notice, the strings to the right side of the piano will be less thick than the ones all the way down to the left side of the piano. Now as we hit notes, you can see the hammers go and tap the strings, which creates the strings to vibrate, which creates the music. When I press down a key, it creates a longer amount of space for the wave to travel through. Because when I vibrate my lips on this, just like the trombone, at the right natural frequency, I can create a wave to push through the trumpet. By pressing down that nut, by pressing down that one valve, I can create a longer amount of distance for a wave to travel through, which is how I can create a lower frequency. Thank you very much. Now we will talk about open pipe instruments. The shortest column of air that can have nodes at both ends is one half wavelength long. Example right here. As the frequency increases, additional resonance lengths are found at half wavelength intervals. This is an example right here. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you learned a little bit about physics today. <laughs>